Okay, so I'm just checking something. I just had this little pop up about some sort of cookies. Like, what the fuck is that supposed to be? Anyway, I'm still looking up here because um, I'm so used to now looking up here for the camera because that's where the light is. Um, and I've not fixed the um, the clip yet. So I'll try and get it fixed and I'll try and remember I'm down here. So apologies if I kind of divert a little bit, but there we go. Um, apologies for yesterday, I, need, I just needed that time. Um, I was feeling still quite off. Uh, and I just, I'm glad I did actually because I got up at around 7. And then I started watching, um, what was on? I know GDQ's on, Games Done Quick. What were they playing yesterday? Oh, somebody was playing Bioshock. Um, so it's interesting watching them stand on um, melee spices, shoot them, and then use the um, telekinesis uh, plasmid to kind of throw the um, the slicer that they just killed that is still stood on top of, as well as them like through the uh, map. That was always fun. Uh, well, I say it was it was quite fun to watch. Um, so that was great. Um, where am I up to? So, yeah. Um, so apologies for that. And also remember, I'm going to be in Ireland on Friday. So there was going to be no stream this Friday and this Sunday. Because I won't be getting back until probably midnight on Sunday. And then I've got Monday off. Which means hopefully Monday... Yeah, I can see it. Monday, um... Amiga Monday back on the Monday. I'm, I'm off on Monday anyway, so it's fine. Uh, it gives me time to kind of repair if I, if I can. Let's see what I need to do. Um, I'm also peeking a bit too much. Give me a moment. That's a bit better. Yeah, go. Right. Um, still peeking. Is that better? Yeah, I think that's better. Okay, so... Uh, stop picking it, picking there and never, never mind. Right, okay, um... Brain's gone a minute. Right, I need to get my side set up, so I've got a D-sub. Because you can see it, but I can't. Um, okay, so, CD, on right. You know, I really don't miss the camera being here because it's already cutting through part way through the screen. And that's why I put it up there in the first place. Okay, so if I remember rightly last time, uh, what had happened was we... Decided to go back to so-called keep. And due to that. Uh, we managed to get into the tower. Or, yes. And we had a massive spike. Which could have gone either way. But luckily, um, I think three survived. The mage, the fire, and the cleric. And at about that point, the orcs started to uh, surrender, which gave us a massive advantage. Um, I don't want that, no. I want to be on... Stream game manuals. So you want the code wheel. Adventurous journal. Going in the middle. Oh, I also need to check if this and that actually put actually posted. I probably didn't. No, it didn't. <sighs> if then that bot is fucking annoying. See what went wrong this time. Yep, 
Yeah, we go. We did it. Because I basically changed the. Um... Didn't want to do that. Cool. So basically, I've changed the um, the settings so that the if then that bot can actually post now. Um, so it's done it. Metro current viewers. Yep. Right, cool. Right, so what we need to do is we need to do this. And this. That's what I want. Okay, so here we go. Um, so what we do? We were in here. We rested. We sold some of the weapons. So it's time to come back out. Check the. Oh, that's a bit loud. There we go, that's better. Okay, um, um, save, see, now, oh, I'm in the wrong area, this is not so cocky.
Right. If I remember rightly, I think it went west and round. So we have to take this on. We could flee, but. Now, which way? I think the left door will be fine. Set the left door, won't let us get in. So I'll have to be. So I think I'm going to flee a lot. To get to the I think you have to go up and round. The yeah, this looks familiar. So the left hand side is gonna be the sh the um this is where we saw the, the frog. Which has come back again. So we should be able to combat this. Got to give uh, feral darts. Brilliant. Okay. That's uh, the armory. Which is what we went to last time. And this is where we came in on the side and met the orcs. But this time. Oh no, not this side. It's this one. This side, there shouldn't be. This time, it shouldn't be here. All is empty, save for signs of a recent battle, which is us. And this can go back in the courtyard, but we don't want to go in there. This was once the chapel of the keep. Inside a doorway are the dried husks of two orcs, their faces twisted with terror. A large altar dominates the southern wall. That's an interesting uh, reading. Dried husks, two orcs. Okay, something sounds a bit off.
Oh, a pale form rises up before you. Combat weight, Leo Parley. Let's parlay and see what happens. Let's be nice. What do you say? Type a single word. Hello? The outline of a sad face. The outline of a sad faced man wavers and fades away. So I needed a particular word here that would be useful. But he's not attacked. So someone somewhere has something that I need to say to him to be relevant. So I need to figure out what that is. This building is filled with broken and splintered wood. The remains of the bunks and chest of the original defenders. It seems everything has been well looted. A mist rises and thickens into numerous shadowing figures. From these figures rises a low moaning. Ghostly uh, sh shapes screech out a dreadful keening howl. This is Vance. And again, oh, ghostly shapes she screech out a dreadful keening howl. Ale. Nice. What do you say? Hello? Wrong word. The moaning continues. <clears throat> See, there's no point in me attacking because obviously it's going to get me nowhere. And stop, wrong word. Oh, wait a minute, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. I've written something down from somebody was outside the... Where should I put it? <clears throat> Where did I put it? I definitely wrote it down unless I accidentally removed it. Don't think I did though. <clears throat> I might have to go back to the outside and rewrite down what I, I'm pretty sure I wrote down last time. I just don't see it here.
I'm gonna have to need to write it down again, I think. Pretty sure I didn't put it anywhere else. I must have accidentally binned it. Unless, I, did, I was gonna say, unless I put it on the phone, I don't think I did. So I'm just gonna flee at this point. And go over here. Right. The pouch that remains is a crumbly parchment scroll with the words. Last part is eaten away. Okay, so this is what I typed down last time, but I didn't. For some reason, I didn't keep it. So it was this one. Oh, I've got a rune translator. <clears throat> this one. This one. And. I think it's this one. Looks next line is Genie's Lamp type thing. That one, and then. This one, this one, that one, Jimmy's lamp type thing again, and this one, and another Jimmy's lamp, but this time that's that one. So we've got Lux, Samo Sud. And then the last one is <clears throat> Genie That one This one Genie again What looks to be a middle what is this? That one and yeah, because I wrote it in chat, that's what I remember I did. That's why I didn't write it down. I intended to write it back and I forgot. So I've got she, st, ni. That's what it's giving me. So I'm thinking maybe that's what I need to tell the ghosts. But they're all in three different things. Maybe. Alright. <sighs> so I've got that written down now. Yep, 
to go back to try and flee as much as I can. Search. This time I'll take them on because we're quite close to the door. Do your turn. I help. Zombies forced to flee but attacked me anyway. Alright. Unless the zombie can't move. Well, like that, I've had three attempts on the uh, skeleton over here, and he gets one on me, and that's it. It's like, fine. Zero damage. Alright, fine.
bare lige ikke gjort. You can do nothing for a while. I keep, can't believe I forgot to get darts for the magic user, but I think I forgot last week. Last week I did this? Can't remember. Yeah, I think it was actually. I'll let you flee. Exit. So only a little damage here and there. Right. hasn't returned. That's interesting. The ha the haunts burst into a chorus of howls, moans, complaints, wails, and other lamentations over the fate of, and the fate of their families. They were the original defenders of the keep. Before the cleric spells and averts the bound into this place, one spirit's voice rises above the rest. An account of our trials is with the diary. He points to a floorboard. Beneath a floorboard, you find some gems and a few pages of a diary. You couple these pages to your journal as entry, entry 3. Let's have a look at what entry 3 says. An old leather book. Uh, an old leather bound book written with a small firm hand. The hordes came again last night. Their coordination was frightening. Um, under cover of darkness, goblins and kobolds pushed bundles of sticks um, to within bow range. These bundles formed a wall that protected the small ones from our archers. Once the wall was erected, orc archers took up safe positions there and began pelting the castle walls with arrows. <clears throat> we tried shooting flaming arrows at the wall of sticks to set it to a fire. Monsters are normally afraid of fire, but these monsters showed no fear. They simply scooped dirt on the flames to put them out. Before all the fires were out, they had resumed firing at us. Surely some unnatural force must have been at work to, uh, 
the world is cross and beast into an organized fighting force. I do not know if we can combat the monsters on the slope much longer. We lost 12 more men last night. Um, the monsters seem to have an unfinished, unlimited number of reinforcements. Uh, the last priest of Tia, uh, Ferran Martinez, says it is a way to protect the keep. But he says it's so terrible that it may only use, be used as a last resort. Unless we receive reinforcement shortly, Ferran Martinez is our only hope. So I'm wondering whether that is Ferran Martinez that came up to us recently. Do you take the gems? Yes. Five gems. Oh, share exit. Okay, well, that was simple enough. Oops, search. I think that was a uh, area where. I wonder if I sleep and come back in. Probably not going to be possible. And camp. Rest. That was. on that one which puts us right back here now they were talking about someone at here um, last priest of tear pretty sure there's a temple in plan Temple of Sun, is it? Temple of Tai. The Tia. Temple of Tia. Wonder whether. Let's go back to Fan. The first temple we come to is right outside. It's this one. Priest of Tear, welcome to the temple. Do you seek healing? Yes. Praise. No gems are jewel. Oh, wait. Okay. Gem. Ten gold pieces. Sell. Five hundred.
Okay, so it's not been a bad taking. At least a thousand in there, so it's another for, for another level at least. We don't have anything appraising. Uh, 18. We are still on 8,000. We've got another couple of thousand before it's uh, time for you to level up anyway. Okay, uh, hmm. I was hoping to be able to Talk to the priests. Let's say no. He must leave. Okay. Uh, hmm. All right, let's have a look at Going to the City Hall. Okay, lack of papers, oh she's got a commission, so called keep, oh must be cleared. Yeah, I know that one. Okay, so basically I've got nothing. Okay. Um... Fucking chair. I have to go back to so called kick with something else. Unless the idea is, um, so I went there. Unless I think I have to reload again. Because I don't know if it's a bug like with the, um, with the wagon. I hope not. Q. 
keep playing. Oh, I can go to the other side, can't I? Uh, not for long. Good thing about Undead is I can play a lot now. And I don't seem to mind. The only problem is I keep walking into them at the moment. And it's light. I think the reason why that they're all here is I need to exercise, as in perform an exorcist, exorcist type thing. There we go. Um, okay. Parlay. Nice. Okay, got to think now. So we've used the word looks. I don't think that's going to be the same one again. We have um, Samosud. We've got Shes uh, Chesney. We've also been told about... Where's the entry gone again? Last place of tea, which I'm assuming is this, is Fernand Martinez. He says it's the way to protect the keep is so terrible, it may only be used as a last resort. Let's we receive the reinforcement shortly. He is the only hope. Hmm. All right, well, we'll have to go for one of them. I don't think it's looks. I'm going to go potluck. I'm going to go for that Chesney. G. S T N I. Nope, it's not that. Unless I've come out of the room and come back in again. I hope that's as easy as that. Because otherwise it's going to have to be. Come off the island. Come back on again.
Nope, it's not come back. So, it looks like I am going to have to come out to come back in again. in the boat. Give me a moment, I'll be back in a minute. No, it's not gonna be too long. Blow my nose.
Right. Oh, I'm gonna match. Sorry. Right. Right. Okay, so we're back on either side now. Gotta take my um cold and flu tablets. I shall return tonight. Excuse me. Okay. Uh. Hope we carry on, just want to check something. Where am I? Um, so, oh yeah. So come back in and then I'm gonna. Don't know if I can do this or not. Unless I've got to come back out of the dock. Probably quite likely. Yeah, I'll redo all this again. Oh, I was going to say take off search. That's why it takes too long to wander around. Hopefully. You can speak with them, but I don't know if there's any point. So, let's try 
try the other word. Hello. Be nice. So we tried that, um, Chesney. I don't think it's luck, so I'm going to leave that to last if it's not. I'm going to try, um, Sam. Oh. Sud. Sam O Sud, yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. No, that's not it. Okay. I've ever got a feeling it's still not going to be looks either. Unless the name I've got to seek out. Hello there, Kiki Chappy. Try parlay with these. Nice. Sam. Oh, Sid. They didn't like that word. Okay. Oh, boots. Does that mean they hit harder? Turn some on there. this one Maybe you could do nothing
Uh, I think you are still available. You can do nothing. And then just wait for a while to flee now. No more point in me fleeing because I won't get the um the uh, points for it. That's that. Ah, uh, still think to pick up. Let's try another parlay. Let's try the looks. Nice. L U X. Oops. They didn't like that word. Another turn. Mm. 
Yep, in SoCal Keep. Uh, so one of the things I think you missed from earlier um, was we went back to the keep area, you know, where we had the battle. We carried on down and we found, um, we found a, um, a holy place and one of the it said near the door there's a couple of orcs with them um, sort of scared to death type of expressions on there like they were dead um and then when you went into the uh, at the um the priesty area the temple um at the end of the ghostly apparition that came up and you can speak to the ghostly apparition and i'm trying to see whether um the words that were written on the skeleton outside so called keep the part of it because when you went over to um see if that's the um middle part where the um priest bit is if you go this way and this way um you get to barracks and there's a couple of ghosts in there on one of the words that the uh, the skeleton had outside at the beginning did actually work on it. So I'm trying to like see whether the other words work. That's why I use looks uh, talking to these skeletons. But it was one that I put in chat and I forgot to um, heap. You can't use your sling. There we go. Sit back there. Again.
and they were blocked. I don't really want to go all the way up just to kill them all. No, looks like we have to do that. Great. Uh, exit move. Uh, you can stay because you've got limited ammo. Uh, I think I've got a crash. There we go. Game crash. Well, if anything, I'm not too far behind. No, not much progress, but I suppose you can see uh, what you missed, so that's good. I mean, it sounds like a lot in an hour and a half, but I was talking a bit when I, before I started. We are. Right, this is where I came before. 
And then I realised I was in the wrong place. Come on. Thank you. It's my own fault for going too far to see a hole. See how quickly we get to where we need to be. Let's try parlay with looks. Mike Thomas de Soto. I was worried that the system was going to crash again. Parlay. Nice. L U X didn't like that word. Can't remember if I did that last time. Was well, like, right? I should have tried the other one then. Um, I know I've not tried it with the priest, and I'll show you. Who I mean, later when I've got this done. You can do nothing for a while.
Wow, they hitting a lot harder last time. Got away with a lot of hits last time. Uh, you can go. Oh, you should be dead by now. You are now. Okay. Yeah, one hit point left. I could talk him on for 10. Right, so this is where we, uh, if you remember where we were last time. Um, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to come up here. Because we've got new skeletons to go against. Show you what happens when I come into here. So the building is filled with broken and splintered wood. The, remain, uh, the remains of the bunks and chests of the original defenders seems everything has been well looted. And then when I come around here, mist rises and thickens into numerous shadowing figures, and these figures rise as a low moaning. So I allowed the, uh, the shapes to advance. And then I said parlay, and then I, this was the one that I said looks to. Nice. Co uh, so the ha haunts burst into a chorus of howls, moans, complaints, wails, and other lamentations over their fate and the fate of their families. They were the original defenders of the keep. Before the cleric spells uh, inadvertently bound them to this place, one spirit's uh, voice rises above the rest in a count of our trials with the diary. Uh, he points to the floorboard. Um, gems and a few pages of a diary. And he put that into a journal. So basically, uh, the journal says that they came under grief from um, an organised set of monsters. And um, the said that there's one more thing to do and that was about it so unless they basically kill themselves um trying to defend the keep but the issue is obviously that um they're now stuck with it and they come through here is once a chapel of the keep. Inside the doorway, there are dried husks of two orcs. Their faces twisted with terror. A large altar dom uh, dominates the south wall. So this is the, bit, the bits that you've missed. And that's, this is it, really. There's nothing else. So you come over here. Go over here. And then you get this. A pale form rises before you. So I've not chosen to combat this person whatsoever. Parlay, I'm going to try it looks. Ah, a shape speaks. I am the life form of Ferro Martinez, which I suspected. Bound with the uh, undead spirits of, the, um, of all who die 
within these walls to guard the keep. Tell me, has the city been freed? Do you tell the truth, lie, or run away? Um, tell the truth. Um, Farron speaks, the city fell long ago to the unblessed creatures, imbued with the might of a magical pool. Chief among these were uh, Tyran Thrax, uh, Thraxus, Edra, um, let me just get this right, Edra Danka, is it? And Tora. I've heard this name before. With their powers, they are ruled and united all else, driving forward to destroy us all. The sage uh, Mendor worked hard to gather. Uh, sage Mendor worked hard to gather record of all these things, but they are lost now to his. Um, oh, his library is overrun. To find help for your battles, you should pass through the illusionary wall in the armory of this keep. To pass my guards, I'll just wait until it stops. To find help for your battles, you should pass through the illusionary wall in the armory of this keep. So that's on the right hand side. To pass my guards on the way out, speak. The word Samosud, which is one of the words I've not used yet. Now we are freed, our duty done, Ferran fades away. Uh, Ed Rank of the way, <laughs> yeah. <coughs> hello there, Dennis, hello. Right, okay, so that was the last word I was needed to use against the hordes. So we used Lux twice and then used the other word. Um, so Lux use, is used inside the keep, Samo Sword outside the keep. So there's one more word, I'm not quite sure what that is. Um, I suppose I'm winning, I'm getting a bit more um, stuff done. Uh, so I need to go and look for this armory. I know exactly where the armory is. It looks like I don't have to uh, beat up the hordes of hell anymore. So, to right will take us out. But we came in from that side um, beforehand. This is the arm. No, is this the armory? No, it's the next one, the armory, I think. Right, okay. They said there was a secret wall. Excuse me, I suspect the secret wall is in here. No? Okay. Unless the secret wall is in the back. Yes, passing through an illusionary wall. You enter a portion of the keep that remains untouched by time or ravaging armies. There is a glow in the northwestern corner of the room. So, top left. Let's go investigate the glow first. Special stands in the northwestern corner hold equipment. On the stands are a shield, a mace, a sword, a small suit of chainmail. The equipment has not been tarnished by passing years. Do you take it? Absolutely. Okay. 
I'm hoping the mace will be like an extra plus one or something. Uh, so you can take the chainmail. Gold moon could take the mace. The shield can go to. Mm, who takes a shield? Yeah, they're gonna have to be magical. I know that. Yeah, because Sturm has got a two hundred weapon now. Give it to Foul for now. I'll give it a long sword as well. We can uh, uh, look at those in a moment. What's in here? That'll be nothing. Okay, I think at this point we can encamp and see. I'm not going to rest because I'm probably going to get killed. Let's see on B. Uh, don't quit the dust yet. Encamp out. Now, does that mean we've got some more illusionary walls? No. So I want to know how you get to the back of those. No, can't get through there. Worth a try, I suppose. I mean, I'll have a look. No. And that's... Yeah, this way's outside. I mean, I'm going the wrong way anyway, to be fair. Doesn't really matter, because... A broken hearth. Oh, yeah, it's fine. I've read this before. And I'm going to get attacked by frogs. Yes. Uh, I think so, but usually I can get through these a lot quite quickly because they're such low hits. Yeah. Uh, 
far as I remember, even when I was lower levels, the frogs were for the most part easier. In fact, I did save because I saved it just after we got the um the um weapons. But I just went a silly way. That's all. Right. See if we can bump into some uh, undead. I want to use the word. Okay, undead. Let's go. Parley. Nice. Sammo Sud. The undead leave. Ha <laughs> ha. Rogues aren't as bad as the scorpions, but I have someone that yeah had some. I've had had some lucky battles. Yeah, I'm. I think I'm just coasting on the uh, luck at the moment. So nice to be able to um, get rid of these without having to flee. Oh, cool. Undead Patrol confronts you. Do you give the password? Of course I do. Never trust the dice. Looks and Samo so both sounds like washing detergent. Like, why would I say no at this point? Yes, I do. Now, do I go... I think we're going to go to the city first. Before I start looking at what the weapons are. Because I want to see if what I've just done counts as clearing the keep. Makes it much eat quicker with the password. I had to stop myself giving it. Yeah, well, I got there eventually. I mean, I say eventually. It didn't take too long for me to do it. I... You know, it's a song. I keep looking up here because my, I'm expecting the camera to be here. I'm sorry. Just because I had to move it. Um, yeah, I, I, it was fun for me to go through and I would have found it eventually. Right, let's see if we get anything. With so-called keep in our hands, we can use boats to bypass the barren river. Here is your rewards. We've done that one. Excellent. Uh, 1,308. On experience, so it looks like at least someone's gonna get um, um, boosted. Gold Moon could have some money 250 platinum, nice rejoin. Cool, it's another one done. Okay, so what we got left, mission. Yep, we know about that. Right, so that weapon, that's the place that we died at last time. 
Huh. Auctions to be held at Polo Plaza. I mean, they can hang around Polo Plaza at the moment. Um. Oh. Oh, hang on. Special commission. Um. East door. Okay. Junior councilman Cadora. Uh, Cad. Cad. Cadona, sorry. Right, fine. These are all of the commissions currently available. So East Door, straight ahead. When the old farm was overrun, a family treasure was hidden in the western building of the textile complex. The faithful servant sent to fetch it never returned. The complex is just south of Polo Plaza. Bring the treasure to me and you will be well rewarded. Yeah, I know exactly where that is. So that's that big uh, area that was uh, had a door and couldn't actually be opened. So I wonder whether it's open now. First of all, we've got things to check. Um, got a fuck to the money. So let's check stats first. You're on 25. Probably still way off, but you know, always good to check. Need another 10k for level 6. Sturm is very close. It needs another 500 to get to level 5. Gold Moon. I need another, what, 6,000? Is that 6,000? Maybe seven, eight, eight thousand, something like that. So quite a bit off. Zilith, our multi class, is extremely close for the magic user at level 4. And it's about 300 off. Brian this needs about four thousand. Now magic user It's very close as well. So she needs about one thousand and one thousand six hundred and she'll be up. So that's uh very close for those. I only give hints of asked off something to do with the way that the game works, and in some cases, doesn't uh, like the car bug. Not concerned is yet. That's no problem. Okay, let's go and see what the booty is. I've got a feeling it's going to be plus ones, but uh, even if it is, we can still sell it for quite a bit. Okay. Cool, you have the chain mail. What chain mail are you? Plus one. But uh, considering most of everybody um has higher uh i'm just gonna sell that 1750 thank you very much St 
just uh, imagine if you've got anything. You do have a battle axe plus two. I can't remember where I got that from. But I think I gave it to you and let you have it just in case. Gold moon. Has a mace. Okay, let's identify the mace. Plus two mace, nice. Uh, let me just check against the flail. Flail does two to seven, two to eight. Mace does two to seven, but one to six on larger. So it's not as good, but I'll keep it around anyway. Could be useful. Stillith, what do you have? You have nothing. I think Farrell had both of the other ones. Yeah, shield and a long sword. So the shield ID is plus one. Long sword. Huh? Not enough money. Fine, okay. Well, mm, can I use wrong class? Let me trade this with Brian. Can't remember if you can use it. Um, exit. Exit. Full share. You. It's a bit better. So you should be able to ID, yes, plus one longsword. So everybody's got a plus one longsword. I can sell that for a thousand. And whilst I'm here, I can buy more darts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Full share and Silas is going to need to buy some more actually. Double check how many arrows she's got. Yeah, thirty two, so you can buy some more. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six 
arrows with 60. Okay, and start praising as well. Praise Jim. Now, yeah, because I think I was going to uh, do that. Probably a bit dumb, but never mind. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around to the jewelers. Even though I've just sold a load of gems. I just wanted to see what the value was. Buy one of those. Another one can't do. Not enough. Okay, so how much money have you got now? Okay, fair enough. And that means that the encumbrance is a lot less. don't think he sold his gem which is fine so we can do buy do something a bit cheaper yeah that's a lot better and then the last person Okay, so we've got rid of a lot of money. Um, and then I think the next thing I do, we're down two hours, fine. No, actually, I would not stay, because I can do this for free. It's 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my way to the textile area. I believe that's what the person said. Just double check. Textile. Oh shit, I think I know where the textile house was. They said the western side. No, what I was talking about was Mindor's library. But the priest was talking about Mindor's library, so I don't know whether we can actually be allowed in anyway. Let's see if we can get in. Because we do know about it. Okay, let's rest up here. Give it a good 10 hours. 8 hours be fine. Rest another three, I think. Yeah, okay. Save B. No. Right, let's go over to. Let's go to the library first. So we're in Kuto's well. Let's see if we can actually No, so I think this area is not available at the moment, but we know this area was spoken to us by the um, deceased uh, priest. And this was the library we was talking about. And now we've got the textiles house, which when we last came here, there were two types of enemies. There was the scorpions and there was the frogs. The frogs were okay. The scorpions weren't, but we were very lower level at that point. And we have taken on uh, scorpions recently and have uh, lived to tell a tale. So let's see how well we do this time. It could go wrong. It could go fine. And maybe I should kind of get some poison spells, but let's just see what happens okay I do remember this area now Uh, 
Okay, scorpions approach. How many? There's four. Okay. Let's do a done and quit. Well, luckily you're big enough that uh Standing behind your mate is probably the better idea. However, can I cast? Stinging cloud. You. What does this do? Well, it does affect you. Can I kill you in one? Yep. It's probably the better option. But now I've got a barrier. A few rounds. You're going to try and flank. I'm on diet, but it's not missing now. Well, you were going to try and flank, but then you realised you couldn't actually get to me. Thirteen damage. Oh, you can't go that far, can you? Exit, so I'll go down for now. Yes, yes. Yeah, exit now. You can't do anything. You're stuck. You've got three hit points left then. See if I can get you in three. Miss. Yes. 
Seven, got you. You flee panic, as you should. It's fine, I can wait. Please don't get stuck. Oh. Fine. Please don't come after me. No, you're still fleeing. You still clean? Seven. Nine left to go. It's two. Seven. to miss. I'm trying to keep the melee away from this. I don't want a, a reaction. A potential uh, death. I mean, I could flee, but like I said, that um, means I don't get experience. With a two. Careful. Three. Mm-hmm. 
Finally. Okay. What we got? Money? Anything apart from experience? No. Okay. What have we got in here? It's a room, isn't it? Worth searching anyway. Oh, shit. What have we got? Please don't tell me it's a troll. Oh, some ghouls decide to add you to their menu. Okay, let's see how disastrous this is going to be. How many ghouls? How bad are they? Right. Fuck, we've got a white. That's a level drain, I believe. 23 hit points. Ghouls 10. Zero damage. But we've got uh, plus weapons. Oh, you're going to need to switch to plus arrows. Because otherwise uh, they're not going to be effective. If I remember correctly. Eight damage. Um, you need to cast something. Let's do a magic missile because magic missile should be, um, at least magical enough to hit. Five. I can I turn? Yep. Don't think this will affect the white though. I do. Uh, cast magic missile again on the white. Try and get the offensive on them. Less, opp less opportunity for that to hit me, the better. Seven points. Gain the level. And paralyzed. I knew there were something about ghouls. Right, you can't actually damage the white.
got you. Right, okay. Rob me oh oh <gasps> he's dying he's dying it's fine he's dying it's okay it's okay I don't have to worry it's okay it's only because he was paralyzed I'm fine okay it's good I will avenge thee thank you uh you can Bandage Sturm, because he's going to need it. You can do nothing. You can use a sling. Oh, it's definitely going to need a rest after this. Jesus. And at least I've got enough money for um, Sturm to get back to the level he was on. Because I can't remember if it's a permanent um, level decrease. Somebody wants to let me know in chat. And I think I should be able to go use standard arrows against undead. I think it's the white who is really more of a... See what happens. Yeah, it should be fine. Done. So, one unconscious, pretty good battle. One person is slightly lower level. I hope I've got enough money to, uh... No, I don't want to continue battle. to 16 experience no money ah okay let's cross our fingers that we're not going to run into more whites Always said, I always forget to turn the goals. It's probably why they usually wipe me out. Yeah, it's one of the things I've been remembering. Um, now that I've got my cleric. So, I should be okay to rest here. Because I don't think there's any going to be any trouble. So let me do an hour. Stone gets back up. Right, drill. Okay. We need to go to about 20. And then we can save.
Let's see if Sturm's lost any HP as well, because I can't remember whether if you go down a level you lose hit points. You probably do. Twelve. It was on a lot more than that. Uh, oh. Also reminds me, I did use some magic. It will be prudent for me to get that back. Uh, who used magic? You didn't. You didn't. But you did, Farrell. So I used one stinking cloud. Take that back. I used one magic missile. In fact, I used two magic missiles. Right, okay. Uh, exit. Yep. Quick rest. Exit save B, no. Because I can easily do a three hour one today. Um, yeah. Three hour stream, that's what I mean. So I've got like 25 minutes left. Okay. So we went left. Let's keep going. Do a bit of a search. Ooh, it's a big area. Wonder what stopped me from moving. That's called Moon Gone. Well, we did save at least. And before anybody says anything, Gold Boom was the Eric. Which makes that worse. In fact, let me just double check. Bells. Hmm. <sighs> Oops, three spells. Yeah, I don't think there's any anti poison spell for uh wizards. <clears throat>
I'm going to help stir them out the most. Mainly because Core's a good hitter. down let's see if Podcast. Into triple. Yep. Thing is, I don't know if this area is randomized or has a certain amount of enemies. Poisoned. <clears throat> Map just restart, I don't know. I was hoping maybe I could uh, take him back to the temple. I might be able to do that actually. No, I didn't want to do that. Never mind. Thank you for attacking, but I don't need you to do it for me. Thank you very much.
<clears throat> you are not doing very well trying to get me over there. Wait for the part that Cole gets poisoned as well. Killed by Adele, no problem. Right, are you gonna come this way or oh you're gonna flame panic. Please tell me you can flee. Right, I can flee to the right. That's going to take a while to go down that way. Just make sure you can flee. No, you can't. Oh, you can over there, but I doubt. I don't think your AI is advanced enough to do that. Maybe not. Let's see what happens. Thank God. First of all, no, maybe not. I was going to think of resting, but it might be a bad idea. They're probably dead anyway, but... Let me just see if I can at least try and rescue them.
You know, I'm wondering something. So, there was that mission we did with the guy that we burst into and he asked for his, um, his potion thing. I wonder whether that's the wizard for the library or whoever owns the library. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Yes. Okay. Heal. Neutralize poison. Yes. Not enough money. Okay. Praise. Jewelry. Sell. Praise, jewelry, sell. Okay, try this again. Heal. That one. Yes. Yes, so we've got a cure for poison. Brilliant. So I don't have to worry about people dying. Brilliant. Okay, gold moon. A praise. Uh, jewelry. Fuck me, how much? Um, 9,000. Um, heal. Neutralize poison. Yes. Cured. Exit. Full share. Exit. Let's go and rest here. Yes, you can pay. Rest. Twenty hours. And nobody's alive. So Gold Moon has okay. This is weird. So that's kind of weird. The fact that Gold Moon is told to be healed, but he's dead. Okay. So what's the point in healing if I can't resurrect? Yes. Gold mood heal. Raise dead. Yes. Not enough money. Not poisoned. No.
just have a look at my um Where's my coin calculator? Right, so a thousand and ninety nine is fifty four. Ninety five plus three gold. So I've enough for so if I because you want to five fifty for the um the race dead because I want to see if that works. Gold moon. Uh, that's five hundred forty eight. So if I put that as out of their stock, One six four seven. Okay. So if I give her Around six hundred platinum pieces. No, because that's yeah, it should be fine. So let me just exit there. If I can trade, If I change this to one one four eight, I've got more than enough, so I should be able to have me resurrected. Heal. Raise dead. Let's see what happens. Gold moon is cured. Okay. is okay yes called me could pay Rest. Right, so oh so you can raise dead characters. However, it's gonna cost you a full kill. Does Goldbird have raised dead? That's the interesting thing. She's a priest. So.
Red is raised dead, coming as a priest. Level five. I don't think she's got level five spells. Yeah, she's only got third level. Hmm. Well, we did save before we went through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check that I'm still okay. Save on C. I'm going to quit the DOS, come back into it, And the worst part of it is, is that area we were just in, we get no money whatsoever. So, it's got lots of poison stuff in it, which kills you practically in one hit. You can get the body to be, the, the poison to be neutralised. That cost, what was it, 1,000, 2,000, something like that. And then to raise the body for, uh, for it not being dead, that's 5,500. You just like wow. Oops. Yeah, so we're outside there. Everybody's happy. Everybody's happy. Everybody's well. This is just going to have to be a load of saves coming, I think. I think the best way for me to do this is to hack an enemy, move on, save, move on, keep going that way. It's probably the best idea. It's not the greatest idea, but... I don't have a much of a choice here. More ghouls and probably a white again. We train the level.
Not a good start. Turning them that should help though. Oh, I didn't realize you could turn white as well. Didn't realize you could either. And just double check the back of the uh, manual. Yep. So, a uh, minimum of first level of cleric. Uh, you can turn skeletons, zombies, ghouls, and whites. Uh, and then you get nothing until third uh, when you can do wraiths uh, mummies at fourth spectre at fifth and vampires at sixth and if I remember correctly um, I think I can start destroying certain and uh, certain undead at a certain um, level so I think like level six I can destroy a certain number, number of skeletons and stuff like that um, I need to change my arrows. To plus arrows. To find a hit for damage. I don't want to move you so you can stay there because you can't actually hit. You can't do much. I mean, you can cast. You can at least attack. You got a plus one flail. We could switch back to standard arrows. So it looks like ghouls inhabit the uh, areas. in the um, little buildings
Well, at least she's not dead. Can you do anything? I don't think you've got remove paralysis. I think that's a pre-spell. Yep. And Gold Moon does have it, but she's not available. Great. Fine, throw a dart. You might get lucky. Oh no, no death. Finally. Okay, roll this. We've got a load of experience points. Just a bit annoying that somebody had to uh, drop in at the level. A skeletal force spots you with a text. Well, this is a new one. Oh dear. Well, they're not as bad because we've already taken them on some. Uh, you're still put uh, you're paralyzed. Um and it also means this is probably gonna kill me. Yeah, the skeletons aren't bad. Um because it we dealt oh shit. And there's a white I'll be surprised if we can, uh, get through this.
might be an idea if uh, I bandage first and if I finally get round to it um, do a stinky cloud over where the white is and see if I can take it out in one hit but with nine spaces to move and Sturm's dead great Okay, so all our main fighters are down. Leaving the mage. Um, the multi-class. And the thief. Against a horde of undead. Right, so this is what we got for casting. Sleep might be an idea. Let's hope to God this works on the white. <coughs> Unaffected. So effectively we're going from sort of beginners tough, as in like it's tough for beginners, to getting used to it, to now getting into the really sort of nasty bits. Because zombies and skeletons as we've already seen in SoCal Keep aren't bad. It's when you stick a white in it, that's when it starts to get a bit. Ghouls aren't bad, but they just tend to have a chance of paralyzing you. Which, if you don't get rid of the paralysis, means that um, you can get hit with uh, one, you can get knocked down with one hit. Which makes it a bit more... Uh, Stinking cloud, let's try and use that to a good effect. Do it here. Don't think that's affected anybody. 
No. Although for some reason the whites decided to go all the way down the bottom of the map. Okay, you need to change your weapon. And so do you. I think I can see if I put a shield on as well. Wrong class, okay. At least I knew that now. And since we're all gonna die anyway. Unfortunately, I don't think uh, the undead leave for any reason apart from being turned. Okay. Uh, do you have anything else? Never tried mirror image. Oh, come on, you could at least, I was going to say, at least get into that corner, but I don't think you can. Yeah, because the one of the right next to me is in the way. Yeah, 
excuse me. Right, miss or hit, miss. On the skeleton. Uh, actually, let's do a magic missile. Another five. A waste of time, but still. Of a skeleton. The inevitable death is waiting behind everybody else. The magic user manages to take out a skeleton and hit.
13 damage, uh, 13 left is in That was hard to be in touch. Ryan is five hit points from dying. Oh, a fight has been hit. Jesus. <laughs> oh, I was hoping that zombie was going to die, but it's... I got like nine uh damage I probably would have done it. It's the skeletons that have less damage uh less health. So the uh, fighter is doing quite well. I know the zombies are coming over. That's another zombie gone. That was probably two hit points from dying now. Oh, Carol's got 10 hit points. Okay, fair enough.
bit of a wait. So this is down. Two left to go. Whites come in there. Finally. Okay, do I have any? I do. Go for a final hit on the um the white. With the magic. Nine points. So that puts the white at either seven or six or something like that. Five, maybe? Seven, possibly. It's probably seven. A lot of messing going on. <laughs> I think at this point, if this was uh, orcs or goblins or something like that, they'd be flaying right now. Or surrendering. Not so much with the undead. Ryan's down. Just a magic user to go now. Everyone's ganging off on the magic user. I would try and take the white because the white's got a few hit points left. If I survive in this round, I'll probably miss now, isn't he? Miss, what a surprise.
why it's missed. So I think I'm on seven, four, drain the level. Wow. I say four hit points, maybe. Possibly less. One hit point left. Okay, last swing at the white. Oh, we got six on the white. Probably wasn't enough. I think white's got one hit point left. It must have. White, white has one hit point, and I'm dead. What a gallant effort for the uh, the um, the mage to stick it out until the at the end. But uh, here we go. Let's wait until the DMs finally got through all the uh, excuse me, the monsters. Yeah, that's long term. Right. <coughs> oh, excuse me. That's it for this session. Um, it's been a pretty good session. Oh, but I've had to restart it. To, um, it's fine. Uh, it means that some of you that weren't in on the original uh, bit saw what actually happened. So to recap, um, from last week we had that big fight in the um, so-called keep. We went back to the same area. And, um, what did we do? We went back to the same area. We found a temple, or a, well, let's just call it a temple there. There was a ghost there that we, we found. We found some ghosts in the, um, the barracks. So we helped the ghosts in the barracks. They told us about the priest, the last priest of Tia. Um... Found out what the word is we needed to say to the priest, which was the same for everyone, uh, for the, the other two, which looks, I think. Uh, <clears throat> um, found out about the library. Why it's closed. We found the, um, the word to keep the dead off our back. Went back into town. Got a commission for clearing out so called keep, then got told about uh, an item in this textiles area. 
uh, the um, scorpions and the frogs. And now it seems the undead live as well. Uh, much more worse enemies because we've got whites to deal with who drain levels. Um, so lots of fun. Uh, so that should be back next week. In fact, this is the last um, stream for this week because I'm away on Friday. I will be in Ireland from Friday until Sunday. So there's going to be no Friday stream and there's going to be no Sunday stream. That's a certain. Uh, let me just pull up the schedule. <clears throat> Thanks for the stream, no problem. Um, so I should be back for Mega Monday. I can't see why it wouldn't be. I'm off work anyway, so that should be fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to do, um, we're going to look at what we was going to do last week. I'm also going to have a look, uh, show you, I'll show you what, show off this. This, I know it looks like a floppy drive, but I've replaced the, um, this bit here. With the Arduino, uh, it's a drawbridge. It basically means that I can um, plug this into the PC. <coughs> Excuse me. I can plug this into the PC and it reads um, Amiga floppies. And then we'll show off what uh, Amiga floppies have received. Uh, so we can have a look at that. I'll do that part way through. We can still look at um, cover discs and stuff. Thanks for the stream, no problem there, Stork. Um, so that's that Amiga Monday. And then Tuesday we'll get back to this. And hopefully we can st uh, save Scum our way through a textiles area. But I've got a feeling it's going to take a couple more um, streams to do that, maybe. Maybe what I should do is level up, level up Zillith a bit more and get her to get some more mage spells. But... She's not going to be as good as uh, Barrel. No, you have to excuse my throat. <clears> throat> I am coming off a cold, so. Just give me a moment while I can. Kind of... Oh, it's better. Right. Thank you. I'm a lot better than it was on Saturday. God, that was really terrible. Yeah, I should have a cold gone by. Um, time to go away. I've been uh, going through a lot of my pills and stuff, which is the flu pills. And it's been slowly getting there. But, right. Okay. So, you know, mystery uh, schedule. You know, I'm not going to be in on Friday and Saturday. Uh, sorry, Friday and Sunday. Uh, let's see who's available for raiding. Have a good time away and see you next time. Thank you very much, sir, Geek and Chappy. Right, so we raided Bitterman last week and he's playing the Outlaws. The Outlaws is the first person shooter from um, LucasArts and it's a really good one. Uh, but we raided him last week. Hesh Ballantyne is looking under Mister. Tundra is doing Sega games. Last time Lord is doing Mega Manuary. Oh, he's doing Mega Man. Mac 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 is doing P shooting Pete. 48k Ram has got back to streaming. Dam Van Dam is not sure. Hands of Necromancy is that? Never heard of that. Okay. Let's have a look at Hash Valentine. <laughs> this is a fucking impossible game. Yeah, <laughs> let's go and read Hash Valentine. I don't know what he's playing. It looks a little bit like Sword of Sodan, but it's actually, no, it's not, because Sword of Sodan had really big sprites, and, oh, it's playing Kadash. I've heard of that. Okay, that's fine, let's go and read, uh, 
Cash Valentine. Great. Thanks everybody for popping in. See you next week, next Monday. And uh, have a good week and I will see you soon. Bye.